So I'm going to get started. Um, I've got five minutes to tell you about VMware Pivotal Container Service, or PKS. So what this is, is a purpose-built container service for operationalizing Kubernetes. So what, is it, what does that mean? It means that we're taking open source Kubernetes, so standard open source bits, we're not changing the bits at all, um, packaging that, and deploying it on initially vSphere and uh, the VMware Cloud on AWS. What this does is unify the management of VMs and containers in a single platform, including down to the networking level. So part of PKS is the option to deploy NSXT, which gives you networking to the, to the individual VM, but also using a CNI plugin down to the container level or the pods that you're deploying in Kubernetes. So this is hardened and a production-grade platform that takes advantage of the underlying vSphere infrastructure to provide HA, to um, increase security, provide multi-tenancy and integration with a suite of, of VMware tools to manage the platform. So it, it begins with Project Kubo, which is a, uh, was started by Google and Pivotal and, and then donated to the Cloud Foundry Foundation. So we're using Bosch to deploy Kubernetes clusters and then to give you the ability to deliver Kubernetes on demand. And then you get all of those day two operations that you associate with Bosch. So being able to identify service outages and restart those services, to, to recreate failed VMs, to elastically scale out the nodes or scale in the nodes of a Kubernetes cluster. You also get the ability to do rolling upgrades with little to no downtime. So if you want to go from 166 to 171 of Kubernetes, you can do that without having application outages. Um, I mentioned high availability before, but also the ability to deploy clusters in multiple availability zones and isolate physical resources for individual clusters. So this is a, a, a view, a, a, a pictorial view of what we've got. A couple of Kubernetes clusters deployed with Bosch, integrated with um, Google Cloud Platform Service Broker, so it allows you to leverage things like BigQuery in your Kubernetes applications. It comes with an enterprise container registry built um, called Project Harbor that was started by VMware. Um, I mentioned NSX is included in this. You get the um, integration to the vRealize suite of tools for things like logging and um, network management, monitoring, etc. Also, integration to vSAN and basic storage policy in Kubernetes. So you can have an application that can decide they, go, they should go on a production storage or on development level storage, that kind of thing. So what is the difference between Kubo and PKS? What's in PKS? Well, you, you, know, you start with several open source products. So you got Bosch, you have a CPI or a cloud provider interface that gets you to the underlying vSphere platform. We're including Kubernetes. We have a, a plug-in, CNI plug-in to the networking. So this is, this is really Kubo. What you get with PKS is you get NSXT, you get this enterprise register, Project Harbor, um, you get the ability to deploy Kubo and to configure it, to also configure underlying vSphere, the networking resources, and the registry. You also get a new API that's on top of Bosch, so it's specific to deploying Kubernetes. You'll get a CLI, an API, you'll get a UI with this as well. So now you can do something like PKS create cluster, for instance, and, and you get a Kubernetes cluster to be deployed. There'll be, uh, our plans right now are two different packaging formats. If you have PCF, you're familiar with Ops Manager, you'll get a tile for Ops Manager to do the deployment of PKS. Um, if you're a VMware admin, you'll get uh, an OVA form factor to do that deployment. This is available through VMware, Pivotal, and Dell EMC, and whoever you buy it from, you'll call them for support, and we'll all work together on the back end to support you. This is available as a GA product at the end of December this year. So if you want to get a deeper dive on this, come by our booth. I'll be there. My colleague Nathan Ness is doing a 20-minute presentation tomorrow at 3.30 in this room if you'd like to see that as well. Thank you. <laughs>